Welcome back tech lovers, today we are diving into 8 credible testnet connection commands in PowerShell that replace traditional CMD commands. From pinging to testing ports, I'll show you the difference command by command and explain why PowerShell is the ultimate tool for network diagnostics. Let's jump right in. Alright guys, let's start with the traditional way. Let's ping using CMD. Ping google.com as you can see, the same old boring reply, you get some round trip times and that's about it. Pretty basic, right? Now, let's bring the modern tool PowerShell. Let's run the same test. I'm going to type test net connection google.com. Look at that. You get the computer name, remote IP address, whether the ping was successful and even your round trip time in clean, easy to read format. No more disappearing cryptic outputs. This is made for everyone, even if you're not a network guru. How simple is that? All right, now let's talk about testing ports. With CMD, you have to use telnet. Let's see how that works. Google.com and we're going to type for three. That's how you use the telnet. Now you can see the telnet, the term telnet is not recognized. Now, well, for the first off, you need to install telnet and even then it's not super clear what's happening. With PowerShell, it's just one command. Check this out. Test net connection. You're going to type computer name, google.com and you're going to say port 443. Now look at this, boom, it's clear, simple and tells you whether the port is open, no guessing, no setup, just results. How cool is that? All right, now let's jump into the next command. Let's move on to trace route. Now CMD gives you this, trace at google.com. It works, but whoa, that's a lot of text to scroll though. Now let's try in PowerShell. I'm going to type test test net connection google.com trace route. Let's see how long it take. Boom. Look at that. Same info but super clean. You can trace the route without the clutter. How simple is that? All right next command. CMD doesn't really have an easy way to test TCP connection. So you need a custom script or third party tool. But with the PowerShell, check this out. You're going to type test net connection, computer name, google.com, information level detail. Now, this is next level stuff. You can test connectivity and get detailed diagnostic your network interface and source IP all in one command. CMD doesn't really have an easy way to do this. All right, next, DNS resolution. CMD NS lookup is okay for resolving domain names to IPs. Here's how it looks. We type NS lookup google.com, but Test net connection does this automatically when you ping. Check this out. Test net connection google.com. We are all pinging also like this, but we also get NS lookup right there in the remote address field. You have got the resolve IP address. It's like two commands in one. How cool is that? Now, if you want to check the statistic, now in the CMD, we normally type ping google.com n 10, right? So if you want to ping stats, you have to manually specify the count like this. And look at that. It's boring old way, right? You have no idea. <laughs> now in PowerShell, what you're going to type is, I'm going to clear this. Now, slightly different because normally we use net test connection, right? Sorry, my bad. 
test net connection right so for this purpose we're going to remove this net net uh, part and we're going to type only test connection and we type google.com and count and 10 now look at this see it gives you a stats plus success info and response time so much better even non-network guys can read this and tell you how simple is this now connectivity to specific services cmd doesn't have a simple way to check connectivity to services like https but powershell do for example we type test net connection computer name oops computer name and we're going to type google.com and we're going to type common tcp port http so this is for http and it going to check the http you can see we get a nice view so that's how you check the http now let's go and check the https we're going to type test net connection the same command google.com this time we're going to type port 443 that's the https now look at this we get the https connection remote port 443 you can see the http port is remote port 80 and uh, we get the same results how cool is that all right now let's see network diagnostic if normally uh, in cmd our all command is ip config slash all so what it does provides a detailed list of all the network ip configuration dna servers mac address and more i have little bit but if you do it you will get more uh, bunch of information now in powershell the proper equivalent in powershell we know need to type get net ip configuration detail this is the equivalent to ip config all now let's see when we hit you can see nice view everything in one now normally we don't use test uh, net connection because it's not going to work so we have to use get net ip configuration and detail to get the ip, IP config all information all right folks that wraps up today's video on eight super commands in powershell but here's the exciting part i'm creating individual videos for each command for example i'll dive deep into something like pinggoogle.com to explain the results what each line means and how you can use it to troubleshoot effectively because let's be real many people run these commands but don't fully understand what the output is telling them or how to use it to fix problems so if you're ready to level up your troubleshooting skills don't forget to like this video subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any updates i'll also create a playlist just for these quick powershell videos so you can save it and watch all the commands breakdowns in one place let's make troubleshooting easier one command at a time thanks for watching and see you in the next video